Hi guys, uh, this is yours truly Christine with Exhibit Africa Inc. I'm glad to be back to share uh, some more interesting uh, facts about another beautiful country from the continent of Africa. And today the country we're going to be looking at is Chad. Okay, so let's get an overview of this beautiful country before we get to the interesting facts. Okay, so the capital city of Chad is N'Djamena. Uh, it's the largest city. The total area is a uh, 1.8. I beg your pardon. The total area is 1.284 million square kilometers. Uh, the population of Chad is uh, 16.8 million people as of July 2020. Uh, the official language is Arabic and French. Um, the uh, the literacy total population uh, total population percentage is twenty two point three. Uh, Chad the Chad people are referred to as Chadian. Uh, uh, the the uh, government type is uh, uh, re republic. It's a presidential republican a republic country. Uh, the uh, president is Idris Deby. Uh, the borders uh, that. Uh, uh, around uh, Chad, Al Niger, Libya, the Sudan, the Central African Republic, Cameroon, and Nigeria. The currency in uh, Chad is the Central African uh, franc, which is a French currency. Um, the religion is Islam, Christianity, and others. A life expectancy in Chad is uh, 58.3. And uh, the terrain is uh, uh, broad, arid plains in the center, desert in the north, mountains in the northwest, and lowlands in the south. Uh, the lowest point is uh, Jorab, and the highest point is em Emiku is Emikosi. Uh, the climate is tropical in the south and desert in the north. The natural resources are petroleum, ure uranium. Natron, kaolin, uh, fish from the from Lake Chad, gold, limestone, sand, gravel, and salt. Uh, the uh, agricultural area or land is about 40 percent. Uh, the birth rate is uh, 4.17 bath per thousand people. The death rate is 10 death per thousand people. Uh, the sex, sex rate is uh, one male per female. The national symbol is the goat, uh, which represents the north. The lion represents the south. And the natural colors, which are blue, yellow, and red. The national anthem is the Chadian. The industries are oil, cotton, oil, cotton textiles, brewing, uh, natron, soap, cigarettes, construction materials. Exports are 2.46 billion, whereas the imports are 2.16 billion. The GDP per capita is uh, 2,300. And um, uh, let's see, what else do we need to know? I think that's it for now. But so let's step into some of the fun facts of this beautiful country. All right, so let's get started. Oh, interesting fact. I think I'll say I'll say interesting facts, not fun facts. So I'll say let's dig into the um, interesting facts of this beautiful country. I hope you're ready. I hope you're comfortable. Let's roll. OK. So here we go. OK, Chad. Officially, the Republic of Chad is a country in northern, in northern Central Africa with more than 120 languages and dialects spoken. Chad has a diverse population. With these 53 interesting facts about Chad, let's explore more about its history, culture, people, economy, and much more. Okay, let's get started. Chad attained its independence in France on August the 11th, 1960. Please remember that Chad was a French colony. Chad is the largest of the 16 landlocked countries in Africa. 
it's also the 21st largest nation in the world. All right, moving on. Uh, the country historically surrounding, uh, the country historically, the area surrounding Lake Chad has been inhabited since at least 500 BC. Uh, the, Chad, the Chadian and Libyan conflict took place in 1978 and 1987. Now, I read about this conflict and um, my understanding of it is that um, when Chad was under the French uh, rule, when, French, when, when Chad was a French colony, Libya was an Italian uh, uh, colony. So uh, when they came to uh, creating borders, the northern part of Libya, the, uh, the, or the, the southern southernmost part of Libya, which would be which, which would be the northern part of Chad, was taken was taken away by uh, Chad, and the, the agreement after the after the colonial colonial rule was that uh, three one hundred one hundred uh, thousand kilometers of the northern of the south uh, the southern strip of uh, Libya would be given would be given to Libya would be within the Libyan borders but once Chad got its independence they did not fulfill that agreement so when Muammar Gaddafi took over in the 60s as the Libyan uh, as I, as the Libyan president he started he he uh, wanted to get that strip back and the, my understanding is that strip was covered with a, a very precious min mineral called uranium so chad did not honor that so libya started to wage a war against chad which explains this conflict however france which was a colon which was a, a colonial a, a colonial master of chad came in to defend chad and of course france alone wouldn't couldn't manage so they had to call in the usa and some and its other colonies like congo so i guess at the end chad took that strip okay so moving on the people of chad use ka kakaki a long metal trumpet in traditional ceremony ceremonial music the instrument signifies power and is always played by men the sahara desert covers much of the northern chad and occupies roughly one third of the country's total area moving on uh, grains including millet sorghum and rice are staple foods of chad the country has seen long-lasting conflicts between muslims and christians so also remember muslims were the first people that um uh, came to the area for trade because Chad has had had uh, was was rich has always been rich in salt so the muslims came to trade or the arabs came to trade and the christian came after to trade but um when they came to trade they never left <laughs> uh slavery started they they, they started uh, both both uh, the christians and the muslims uh, started getting involved in a uh, slave trade and uh, of course that caused conflict but we kind of understand why okay uh, so the tibet sea mountains are home to some of the best camel camel racing in the world the country has never been able to to make it to the fifa world championship however they've had some popular soccer players please if you know any uh, soccer players from chad uh, please feel free to share okay moving on for every 23 for every 23,600 uh, people in Chad, there's only one Chadian doctor available. That's sad. Chad has one of the highest maternal mortality rate in the world. For every 1,100 mothers, uh, so uh, 101,000 mothers die per one, uh, per 100 death, 100,000 death. That's sad. Chad is also known as the the Babel the Babel Tower of the world. Now, if you if you if you read the Bible and you're familiar with the Babel Tower of the world, you will kind of understand what this is about. I, I, I my 
when I read about it, this, um, I think uh, the reason they call it that's because of the diversity. It has there's so many languages and dialects. So uh, that's why it's uh, nicknamed that. Okay, moving on. The country was part of France until 1960. So uh, Chad uh, became uh, independent in 1960. But from 1940, I believe it was a French colony from 1945. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Moving on, the design and the flag of Chad was based on the flag of France. Talk about independence, huh? <laughs> Moving on, the goat and the lion are the national symbols of Chad. The country has seen three uh, decades of civil war. I wonder if that includes the one with Libya. Okay, so let's move on some to some more interesting facts. The country is the country is named after Lake Chad. Surprisingly, the lake is the largest wetland in Chad and the second largest in Africa. Right, good to know. Uh, it is also the world's seventeenth largest lake. Wow. Okay, the lake has drastically reduced in size in the recent times. In the, um, in the 1960s, it, it covered an area of 25,000 square kilometers, which has been reduced to 1,350 kilometers today. Wow. What happened to the 2,300 square kilometers? That's, that's drastic. Okay. The lake is an important source of water for millions of people in the four countries, namely Niger. Chad, Cameroon, and Nigeria, neighboring, uh, uh, which are the neighboring countries. The lake was once the center of Africa's lucrative salt trade. Wow. The best time to visit Lake Chad is between August and December. During this time, the water level uh, in, the, uh, in the lake is at its highest and visitors have a chance of, of sighting a crocodile or a hippo. Oh, good to know. All right, moving on. Uh, the only television station in the country is uh, Telechad and it's state-owned. Radio is the main source of media coverage. Okay, there has been more than 250,000 Sudanese refugees in Chad during 2011, as estimated by the UN. Mm. Sadly, Chad is one of the poorest and most corrupt countries in the world. Again, I don't understand how countries like uh, countries that are rich with natural mineral resources are termed, are termed as poorest. But I always would like to leave this up for debate. You tell me what you think. Okay, crude oil has been the primary source of the country's economy since 2003 earlier cotton played a significant role in bringing wealth to the nation chad is home to some of the most important african archaeological sites dating back earlier than 200 bc these sites are uh, mainly in the uh, boku 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 enedi tibesi region America is one of Chad's largest investors. I wonder what uh, what kind of investments America has in Chad. I'm curious. Please share if you know. <laughs> in 1971, the University of Chad was founded. Good. Billy Billy, which is a, milt, uh, a millet beer, and fruit juices are Chad's traditional drinks. Okay, Chad's landlocked location results in a high trans in high transportation costs for imported goods mm, it makes sense okay um the majority of chad's fuel is supplied by the local refinery okay um a four billion pipeline linking chad's oil fields to terminals on the atlantic coast was completed in 2003 I guess this explains what uh, the invest. This is I, I'm 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 guessing this is an investment that was done, uh, that's uh, done by the United States. So, uh, crude oil is. Uh, I think the crude oil is uh, taken out through this uh, four billion pipeline. Tell me what you think if you have any more information about it. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, Idris De uh, Dobi Dobi is Chad's current president. He assumed office for the first time in 1990. All right. It is common uh, in Chad for men to have more than one wife which is also common in Africa. Uh, so polygamy is a, a common thing in Africa, uh, just based on culture, but also we have relig uh, we have religions like Islam, which uh, um, uh, embrace uh, polygamy. So no issue here, <laughs> yeah, but it's optional. So uh, more than two thirds of young women will have been married in Chad before they turn 18. Wow. So, um, Young uh, girls get married there at an early stage. Okay, so, um, which could be an issue for some other, you know, I guess because they some don't even get to go to school. So, okay. Um, uh, the people of Chad are called uh, Chadian. Chad has ample reserves of gold and uranium. Now, we all know that our cell phones rely on uranium. So, this is why I don't understand why a country like Chad with uranium and gold would be ranked as one of the uh, poorest. I wonder where the gold and uranium is going. <laughs> Let's, if that's open for debate, please share your thoughts. Uh, the Central African uh, franc is the currency of Chad. It was introduced in 1945. Now, for those uh, um, who might not know, so uh, the French colonies in Africa I think about 15 countries use the uh, France's currency, which is which is the francs. And um, my understanding of it is that uh, the reserves that, that uh, of these countries are actually taken to France and administered in France. And then France makes a decision as to how much it's going to give each one of these of these countries. So France makes the decision and there's no interest. It doesn't give interest back. So. Um, if you have any more details about this, please feel free to share or uh, do some more research. <laughs> okay, so Chad by area is uh, is the world's number 21 largest country. The country is also called the dead heart of Africa because of its closeness to the desert. So there is two deserts that uh, surround Chad. That is the Sahel and then the, the Sahara Desert. Okay, moving on. In terms of uh, area, it is the fifth largest country in Africa. Islam arrived in the country in, in uh, 1085. Uh, more than 200 ethnic groups reside in Chad. Okay, moving on. Lex, uh, Lex, uh, Lex of uh, Unianga, uh, a UNESCO World Heritage Site in Chad. The lakes of Unianga comprises of a total of 18 lakes. These lakes feature different colors like blue, green, and red. That, uh, that vary due to the differences in their chemical compositions. Okay, I would like to see this. It must be really uh, colorful to look at. Okay, the country's highest peak, uh, Amy Kosi, is at 3,000 415 meters and it lies in the no it lies in northern Chad. Okay. Uh, Zakuma National Park is Chad's first national park and has been nominated by the Chadian government to become a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Okay, the Nile Patch, one of the largest freshwater fish, is native to Lake Chad. It can reach a maximum length of up to two meters and weigh up to 200 kilograms. I think people in East Africa are familiar with the Nile patch. <laughs> okay, uh, Al Albert Pahimi Padak became the Prime Minister of Chad on Feb 15, 2016. Okay, about 87 of Chad's rural population lives below the poverty line. This doesn't make sense to me again because why is that the case? Where is the money coming from the natural resources going? That's the question. All right. There are more than 400,000 severely food 
insecure people living in the rural areas of Chad as of 2015. I hope that has changed, but that's sad. Presently, Chad is home to at least 20,000 Nigerian refugees, 100,000 Central African Republic refugees, and 360 Sudanese refugees. <sighs> that's sad when people have to, you know, move, but... Um, It is what it is, right? Only a third of the country's adult population is literate. UNICEF estimates that 147,000 children in Chad currently suffer from severe acute mal malnutrition. Sad. Okay. Unfortunately, I had to ha end on that note, but uh, I gotta say thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this has been yours truly, Christine, with Exhibit Africa Inc. And um, these fun facts were compiled by the funfactfile.org. If you want to check them out, please feel free to do so. Until our next video, please thank you for watching. It was a pleasure. Ciao for now.